Macedonia is a country of just over 2 million people, located in southeastern Europe. Since declaring independence from Yugoslavia in 1991, Macedonia has made significant strides in democratization. Initially, many people thought that Macedonia would not survive as a country. It was in a tough neighborhood. Its economy was in tatters. It had little experience with democracy, but the country did persevere. It overcame these challenges. More recently, Macedonia has made international headlines as a hotspot in Europe's migration crisis. Makedonskite građani go otvorija svoje to srce za begalcite i dadoja sve što možat da im pomogne tvo ta humanitarna kriza. At the same time, Macedonia's democratic institutions are being put to the test in terms of accountability and transparency. For Macedonia to overcome these challenges, women must play a leadership role in the resolution of the crisis. Gender equality is essential for Macedonia to meet this democracy test. It gives uh, opportunities for new ideas, generates new alliances, and fundamentally disrupts conventional politics in very pragmatic and productive ways. Како и во секоја една држава во развој, сите целото население има проблеми, меѓутоа за жал, цената што за сите што за проблеми што ги имаат во заедницата ги плаќаат жените. Во политиката и од 6% сега да не има 40% во во делот на законодавната власт. Во делот на учество на жени во во извршни функции, ми имаме до максимум 3 министерки што не зборуваат тоа дека тие не може да донесуваат клучни одлуки. Gender equality happens through political change and political change happens through relationships, networks and outreach. Technology is a big piece of that. That's why Reactor is so important to achieving gender equality in Macedonia and that's why NDI is so proud to support Reactor and its work. Работи на истражување и на креирање политики базирани на докази кои што ќе овозможат подеднакво вклучување на жените во сите обществени текови. Many Macedonian activists turn to Reactor's research to prepare for conferences, speeches in Parliament, and to justify policy proposals. The 2016 Madeleine K. Albright grant will allow Reactor to continue to provide this crucial research in a web-based environment, where women politicians can interact across party lines and provide support and solidarity to one another as they work toward common goals. I think that first it is one of the benefits, and the second is to show that we are not only for women, we have to have women in the key positions, which are the other women, and not only for women. Armed with information from Reactor, Macedonian women will become more involved in politics and fight for issues that matter to them.